today we're going to teach you how to clean a whole flounder and get it cooked and baked and looking nice. First, you want to make sure that you cut behind the front fin, cut at an angle down towards the the stomach area of the of the flounder. That way, when you pull it, you can just pull the guts out as you come forward. Cut through the backbone, break it, give it a big pull, and those guts and that cavity will come right out and it'll empty. You might have to give it a little bit more of a cut to uh, to get through, but that should be good. Make sure you run your thumb through that cavity and get all the gut guts and tissue out of there uh, so you can wash it out and it'll be clean. Uh, so a mistake I made here uh, should have left the head on before I started to scale the fish and I'm using a knife probably should have went inside the garage and got a either a spoon or, or a scaler to get that done but either way whatever you choose to use make scale the top I usually don't scale the bottom because the bottom I just eat the meat off of the top of the of the skin I don't eat the bottom skin because it's so mushy when once you get through cooking this fish so you can either scale it if you want or don't scale it it's up to you then you're gonna take it and cut down the lateral line straight down the lateral line and the backbone make diagonal cuts across the face of the flounder uh, you could do crisscross patterns you can do straight across patterns whatever you prefer just make sure you get down to the bones and don't go back too far into the bone structure that way the fish will stay solid and, and rigid or when you put it into the uh, to the oven make sure it's all the way down to the bone and then uh, we'll prep it and get it ready to go into the oven Now that we got it cut and we got it clean, we're gonna take it inside and uh, start putting it together. First, you take a stick of butter. Here, I've got about a half a stick of butter, and I'm I'm taking that those butter pats and sticking them into those sliced areas of that fish. Uh, what this will do is it'll melt over time. So instead of melting all at one time into the fish if you rub it or if you put it all in one place it'll melt over time giving the fish a little bit of butter as it goes I found this works really well to keep it real moist I'm just adding some salt and pepper here uh, to your liking to your taste it really depends on on how much spice you you want there I got some sea salt here again just sprinkle it over the top here I like a lot of onion and garlic powder, so I'm going to add quite a bit of that onion powder, garlic powder. If you don't have onion powder, uh, you can slice some onions and put it on top of it. But I, I like to use the onion powder and the garden, garlic powder on, on the top here. I also like the Tonys. Get a little bit of a kick. You can use some cayenne or slap your mama or whatever you prefer. Uh, just a good solid Cajun kick is what I like. Take the fish, set it on 350, put it in the oven. This was a 17 inch flounder that was pretty thick. So I'm going to cook it here for about 25 minutes at 350. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to change it to broil just to make sure that I give that skin that crispy, uh, crunchy. Then we're gonna take it out and uh, it's ready to go. Look how moist that is. It was delicious. Make sure you guys take a minute and subscribe and ring that bell and smash that thumb. Give us a thumbs up and uh, we'll see you on the next one.